You know, I can make life very difficult for you if you speak a word of this. I won't speak a word, Mrs. Wright. Won't you? How would I know? What guarantee do I have? I have signed a document, Mrs. Wright, saying that I will honor your confidentiality as a client. It does not speak only about the design of your home, but also about what I may hear or learn during my time here about you as my client. It's all on paper. There is no need for threats, Mrs. Wright. I don't trust you, but I suppose that I will have to make do with that. It's in the contract. Madam, the photographer from Luxury Living is here. If you dare tell anyone about what you just heard, well, I'll make sure you regret it, Annie darling. Now, if you can excuse me. Miss Wright, yeah? Hi, uh, Zachary Steele here from Luxury Living, ma'am. Hope you weren't waiting too long. But it looks like you're still moving in, huh? Thought for a second there my calendar was wrong and I came here too early. You look... familiar. Have we met? Oh, I was with Isabella, your estate agent, when she had the house blessed. Oh, yes, that's right. 
small world, isn't it? I should have known you were Ms. Wright. The one and only. Welcome, welcome to Maison de Wright. And yes, we've been in the process of moving in as we were delayed. But it won't be a problem. They're just adding a few things here and there, and you should still be able to do your work. Where's the rest of your crew then, Mr. Steele? Zack is fine, please. Mr. Steele makes me feel like I'm a mascot for a cleaning product. Anyway, I'll be your one-man crew for today. Don't worry, been doing this gig for a while now. You must be quite the veteran to handle this on your own. We've had a full crew coming into our penthouse the last time we were covered in your magazine. Veteran? Oh, you, your words are too kind, Miss Wright. Hana, if I get to call you Zack, you have my permission to call me Hana. Alrighty then. Anyway, I'm no veteran, but I know my camera well enough to make sure this is a good shoot. You can trust me on that, Miss Wright. Hana. Tricks of the trade. Softens up a room, makes a place feel more homey, and fills it up with texture. But you guys probably have better stuff I can use for this. No lights. Don't tell me all of these are just props. Well, I've got my tripod here. For things like these, natural light is best. I'll just have to set the shutter speed to a real slow setting, and as long as nobody steps into the shot, it'll look great. Oh, it better.
Zachary? Zach? Is something the matter? Oh, oh no, no, there, there, there's nothing wrong. I, I just remembered something I saw. Let's get back to the pictures. Can you move a bit more to the left, yeah? If you're sure. So, is this a full-time job for you then? Nah, I just freelance mostly for magazines, newspapers, and events. So you can't really call it a full-time job. It's fun and it puts food on the table, but it's not what I really want to do. At least, not all the time. What is it that you want to do then? Films, documentaries mostly, but cinematography is a lot more difficult than photography, right? I was working on this thing, actually. What thing? Well, it wasn't really a big thing. People didn't like Blue Foncy very much. People don't like a film about colors. I suppose they would have liked Blue Bibi a lot more. Very funny. So, Grand Director, do you want to tell me what Blue Foncy is all about? Sorry, I just got so carried away and... It's fine. It is really so fascinating to watch people talk about their passion after all. You should see how your eyes light up when you speak so fiercely. You do have very beautiful eyes. Uh-huh. Thanks, I guess.
What was your home like? These things you talk about, it sounds like you've... Well, I don't mean to pry, I mean. Hmm? I live with my older sister and my grandparents. We had a shop selling all sorts of things below our pop... Sorry, flat. And well, I was one of the few non-white, non-British students in class. I didn't get pushed around or anything straight up. Even then, I was one of the biggest kids around. But a pencil and notebook would go missing, you know? So what about you? How you liking your new house? It's pretty impressive. It's nice, I suppose. You suppose? Not big enough? What? No, oh, don't be a bully. It's just that. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. I remember my old house. It was a lot like this one. Big walls and big halls, but nobody in it. Not really. It makes you think how alone you are. Well, that's normal, ain't it? You just moved here. You'll make home out of it yet. So, Monsieur le Photographe, You've covered the one and only Ermengarde Mansion. What's next on the agenda? The interview? Boring. It's an interior design and housing magazine. And they want to know what Miss Wright has to say about her interior design and house. Honor Wright thinks she bought a magnificent house that she can certainly brag about. Blah, blah. Boring. You know what they should print more of? I watched an interesting documentary the other day. Blue Fonsi, The Darkest Hours of the Black British. I recommend you watch it. Those are the things that people should know about. What do they care if I use a purple or green bowl of fruit in my kitchen? People, right? Oui. People are shite. What do you think? Do I look good with this angle? Yeah, vous êtes belle. You want copies of these ones? Yes, please. So, the big boy knows French. You must have wooed a few ladies. Unless you're into gents. Either way, French is, after all, the language of romance. Oh, I don't know about quoting fancy poetry, but I've made lunch for a girl before, and they did like that fancy French cuisine. Can you cook all your best? I can cook just about anything as long as I know the recipe. C'est magnifique.
I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm really getting distracted. Could you maybe stop doing that? Stop doing what, Zack, sweetie? Touching my arm and looking at me like that. I'm not doing anything wrong. Come on now, don't be like that. It's just a bit of fun. I'm sorry, it's just really uncomfortable and, and and I don't think either of us want Mr. Wright to see us and think there's any funny business. I'm sorry. Look, can we just... We're finished with the interview already, aren't we? Uh, maybe it's about time I go. Oh, you must be joking. No, no, I'm not. You're certainly the odd one. Don't be such a killjoy. A little bit of flirting never hurt anyone. Other men would simply be delighted by my interest in them. Besides, you really are such a cutie. Well, I'm not them, Hannah. So, yeah, I'm probably odd. I don't understand you. Let me put it this way. You're a pretty lady, so this must have happened to you at least once or twice. How would you feel if someone was making you uncomfortable? Only for them to refuse when you ask them to stop and they make you out to be the one that's wrong? This isn't... This isn't the same as that! Yes, it is! Unwanted advances don't make me feel macho or anything like that. I'm not here to argue morals or ethics, Miss Wright. I think I have more than enough for the interview if that's fine with you. I may be starting to overstay my welcome. You're not a bad person, Hannah. Just... Because I really am sorry. People won't always be how you want them to be. And apology accepted. But I really do need to go. A friend of mine is expecting me, and it's getting late. Will you visit again? I will be asking for copies of those photographs. Yeah, sure. I'll make you a copy. That will be much appreciated. I'll ask Johans to see you out.
now turn the lights down, woman. Luke, what? Are you drinking absinthe? You know what the doctor said. Absinthe, Luke. Are you actively trying to kill yourself? Because if you are, we can just hit you with a bloody car! Honeybee, buttercup. Not too loud, please. Besides, it's Lelouch. Not too strong. Just hair of the dog that bit me. Helps with the hangover, dearest. You drank? When? This morning, love, don't be mad. I just needed a few drinks, having to deal with those simpletons. And maybe I had one too much. You don't see me whinging about you leaving me to handle them on my own. I had to attend the photo shoot and interview with Luxury Living. You know that. <sighs> Let's not make this about me, Luke. This is about you and your drinking problem and... Oh, I don't know, Hana, darling. What if my drinking problem, as you like to call it, is linked to you? If we think about it that way, this discussion is about you. That was pretty mean of you, leaving me alone to do all the work like that. You can't use the interview as an excuse either, honey. I was informed the moment your little interview was done. So, what was it then, hmm? What were you doing? I was talking with Zachary, the photographer for Luxury Living. That giant negro? You were having a secret meeting behind my back and it was with him? What are you implying? I'm implying nothing. I'm just worried. You know better than to trust those media types, Buttercup. He must have been really friendly to occupy your time like that. But all he's looking for is his next big headline. He's a photographer for an interior design magazine. Doesn't matter. You let one little thing slip, one wrong move, and it'll blow up in the telly in the morning. He'll go to his journalist friends to gossip and make a quick quid. He was a perfect gentleman, Luke. I can't say the same for you as of recent. Excuse me again? We're talking about you, Hana. No, I am pretty sure we were talking about you and your drinking problem, Luke, right? Oh, it is not a problem. I can stop whenever I want. And even if it was, I think you can very well stay out of it, as it only affects my own kidneys or liver or whatever the bloody hell that shite pollutes. Whatever aftermath that occurs because of your little chit-chat with the Negro affects the both of us, however. Look, Luke. Nothing will happen. You have to relax. It was just a friendly chat. Well, now I think I'm getting jealous. Or I would be if it weren't for this damn headache. Maybe you should drink more. Maybe.
anybody down there?
have certainly exceeded expectations, Marianne. Everything looks so marvelous, and in such a short time, too. Well, I can't take all the credit. People have certainly been enthusiastic about the idea of working on the Wright Mansion. There won't be any more problems unless Mr. Wright has any more objections about the second bedroom. No, no. We proceed with that room as planned. I already agreed to him having his greenhouse and his vineyard and his stables. He may as well let me have this one thing. All right, then. Well, do we have any other concerns? Anything we need to put on our agenda before the party commences? No, I don't think so. Not unless Luke has anything else to say. Is he around, then? It'd be best if we can note down his request right away, considering the scope of his usual ones. No, he's not around. But don't you have a party? Yes, but Luke's just being a sweetie, you see. That friend he's visiting. He's having marital problems and he's just trying to cheer him up. They've been married for a long time, and they've hit a... How do they say it? A rough patch. His wife has a drinking problem and can be very neglectful. The poor thing really does his best to be a good husband. But it's never enough for her. Sometimes I think it's the years. Maybe it's been so long that they've lost that romantic spark. What do you think? What do I think of the matter, Mum? No, what do you think of my hair? It feels so lifeless and dull today, and that's no good for a party. And I think I'm breaking out into zits. Now that you mention it, there is something different. There better not be something on my face. I wouldn't worry about that. You do look a little paler than usual, ma'am. I apologize if I'm crossing any lines here, but have you been resting properly? Huh. You think I get a bit tanned with how sunny it's been lately. Don't you worry. I feel right as rain and never better. But back to the matter at hand. You were asking for my personal opinion on the matter, ma'am. Do you want me to be honest, or...? I don't 
no, Marianne. I just... Perhaps it has been the years, perhaps not. It might just be the little things that have built up all this time. It might be something big. I wouldn't know all the details. But in any case, with things like these, I've seen couples take time apart just to cool off. Sometimes they get back together in the end with lighter hearts, and sometimes they don't get back together at all, but part on better terms. Speaking from experience, are we, Miss McCullough? No, no, no. Nothing like that. I ain't... I'm not interested in any fowler, even. It's just a thing I've seen happen a few times. What if I said the couple are very public figures? They wouldn't want to take time apart unless it was really necessary. They wouldn't want people to... talk. Well, that's a load of guff. Not to mention that makes them a bit thick, doesn't it? Forget about what other people say. That's their relationship, and they should do what's best for them. And if they point out that you're being a hypocrite, and they can also disregard what you say? Then that's their choice. I'm just saying that a break might do them good. A short time apart is better than someone trying to leg it out of the relationship, or one ending up trying to murder the other out of frustration, if they're even the slightest bit touched in the head. Because we don't want now, do we? I really should handle what's left of the work. You won't be attending the party? Oh, you really must, Marianne. I'll try to stay in chat. Maybe grab a few bites and a drink, but I can't be around for the entirety of the event. My apologies. Busy, busy, busy. You must stay a while. I'd love for you to meet some of my friends, and they're ever so excited to meet you. You need to say hello to the Lees, at least. 
it wasn't for them, I'd never even heard of you. We'll see. So, if Foy can be excused? Certainly. You'll have to excuse me as well. I must attend to the party before any early birds arrive. Because, believe me, they will throw a fuss if things aren't ready, even when they're not supposed to be here until an hour later. Snell! We have a lot to do, and I believe we did not hire snails. Snails are for the dishes. At least be here for your party. Damn it, Luke.
The guests have arrived, madam. And Luke? Running a bit late, I'm afraid. <sighs> late for his own party. That man, I swear. He's probably looking to make a dramatic entrance, knowing him. Open the doors, then. We mustn't hurry. Welcome, welcome everyone. Please make yourselves at home. Be careful with Shirley, all right? Yes, yes, I'm at the party already, Mom. Yes, I'll say hi to her if I can. I was just here a few days ago, yeah. Yeah, and the inside is huge, but the staff are pretty helpful if you get lost. <laughs> Thank you for the invite, Anna. Husband still missing, I see. I should be saying the same of your darling Rochelle, Lee. The doctors again? Uh, she told me she'll just be in the gardens. Bet she's lying and that she's somewhere around mingling, gossiping with the other ladies. It's no offense, but it seems to be all you ladies do at these parties. And aren't you gossiping right now? Yes, well, what about Luke? Should we file a missing persons report now, or...? She wants to wait 24 hours. He's around. <laughs> you know, I can tell if someone's bluffing. <laughs> Don't tell me, let me guess. He's finally drunken himself to death and not wanting a scandal. You've hidden his body. I was wanting to give this housewarming gift to him personally, too. It's a plate that holds a wine glass so he can stop killing himself with liquid lunches. Looks like it's too late for that. Nothing like that. Besides, this is a hardly polite conversation. Oh, relax. I'm just trying to be cheeky to lighten the mood. It's not like I want Luke dead. The man doesn't serve dodgy plonk like the others when I visit, and he pays his respects well enough. I could use a glass of wine or three, actually. Rochelle's been in a horrid mood. Threw a stilettos at me the other day and almost took an eye out. Not sure if this is how it usually goes, but I blame the pregnancy. I wouldn't know, would I? Still no plans for a baby. Well, I guess that's for the best. If it's this bad now, I can't even imagine how bad it'll be when that little baby bump becomes huge. Why don't you just go inside and have some wine, Lee? Think I will, thanks.
You would catch his eye a lot better if you wore nicer clothes, don't you think? Didn't realize the housewarming was going to be this uh, fancy. I would have gone with a nice dress if I knew. Oh, you're fine, dearie. It's only really the parvenu, those who climb, that come to these parties all dolled up. Quite the black-haired beauty, isn't he? You know, you really shouldn't have turned down those offers. If I wasn't married, I'd happily go dancing with those young men. But you said a name. Ash. That's the exquisite lad you've been looking at all this time. I don't know him, and I'm the one hosting this party. That must mean you know each other. Is he your boyfriend, then? Because that would explain those rejections. What? N no, that's ridiculous. He isn't my boyfriend. Such a violent reaction. A simple no would have sufficed. Many here would be happy to hear it. And I haven't been looking at him. That's right. You've been staring. Quite heatedly, in fact. Although I'm not sure if you look like you want to kiss him or kill him. It's more the latter, currently. Just don't go murdering him on my property. I don't want to walk into a room and suddenly find a body there.
help keep that in mind, but are you all right? Yes, uh, sorry. I just thought I saw something strange. It must be the trick of the light. Anyway, on a right, as you must already know. Rebecca Gales. Gales, Gales, Gales. couldn't make it since they're in Scotland right now. And Mom says hi, by the way. But yeah, that's me, little Becky. We met once before. Yes, oh, I remember you. You were the cutest little thing with glasses. And when we met, you were having boy troubles with this lad called something with an A. What was it again? Aaron, Alan, Adele, Albert, Alexander, Andrew? why though he's quite dashing y you don't really need to announce it to everyone with an earshot you know keep it down i'm so sorry but it really is cute uh, so uh, this is a nice party miss wright please honor's fine we're friends of a sort aren't we we must be friends, seeing as I know about your little infatuation, Becky. Don't you worry, dearie. You'll have your happy ending yet. I'm not too concerned about that, am I? Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh? And what makes you think that? Doesn't everybody want their happy ending? Uh, the idea of happy endings sounds like they're just for fairy tales. And they are, sort of. I don't think you can just sit around, trapped in some tower, and hope for the best. If you love them, you have to fight for it, right? You're not just going to sit there and hope that everything will just fix itself on its own. Like everything, you have to work at it. <laughs> but what do I know? I'm sure the daughter of the two greatest professors I've ever known is smart enough to know what she's talking about. But have you told him how you feel? And it's been what? 20 years? 17, actually. But no, not yet. He can be a bit... dense. I was hoping that maybe he'd notice on his own and... Well, that won't do. What if you two become husband and wife? He's not to be dense when he's sworn himself to another person. Why, you might just as well consider leaving before the day's even begun. If that happens, I'll have to give him a good ear bashing, won't I? Whoever anyone ends up with, it's not going to be a perfect relationship anyway. There's going to be things you'll love and things you'll hate about the other person. We're just humans. It's funny. Here I am, trying to give you advice when you did the very same thing back then. 
I remember you giving me a makeover when we were still kids. And you were the first I told anyone about my... <laughs> crush. Good evening, ladies and gents. Enjoying the party? I hope I'm not too late in welcoming you all to the right mansion. Welcome, one and all, to our humble abode. Tonight, if you have yet to find yourself in your roles, you are our ladies and lords of the court of your king and queen, if you would excuse my presumptuousness. <laughs> so, enjoy the feast that has been laid out for your senses as we only allowed the best to be served. Enjoy the rest of your night, everyone. Are you feeling ill, Rochelle? Perhaps you need to sit down and... No! Shut it, you monta! I ain't talking to you! I'm talking to this scumbag over here! You bloody bastard standing there with your smarmy smile!
Watch your tongue! You're on thin ice, Rochelle! Where's your husband? Who even invited you? I did. And I told you with great emphasis not to. Now we have a drunk, hormonal, pregnant woman causing a stir. What is even going on? I don't know. But Rochelle, do calm down before you hurt yourself. I can't understand a word you're saying. Where is that husband of yours? Lee, collect your wife right now! Don't you fucking talk like I'm not here and you're not responsible, you ass! You told me that I should wait for you in the gardens! Excuse me, what is this nonsense you're going on about? Crazy talk, that's all it is! Just completely and utterly mad! Has anyone seen the Chief Inspector? I am pregnant with your little bastard. You promised me you'll take responsibility. God damn it, Luke. I finally got you to talk to me after months of silence, and you do this to me. What do you mean you're pregnant with? Luke, is this true? Lies and slander, woman! Security! Yo, Hans, take her out of here before she makes an even bigger fool of herself! No, no, you do not do this to me! I was so ready to leave my stupid oaf of a husband! I told you to leave that damn wife of yours! Look at her! Does she look like she wants a baby? Does she look like she can take care of a baby? I'm so sorry for her behavior. She's been under a lot of stress and the alcohol. Talking nonsense, that's all it is. You're not allowed to drink because of the baby, Shelley. What are you thinking? Nothing to see here, people. Move along. Take that troll up out of here immediately and see to it that she isn't allowed here or anywhere we hold any authority in Luxborn.
Everyone, please go back to enjoying the party. Don't let that mess of a woman ruin your night. You heard her? Strike up the band, maestro, and let us dance like fireflies in the night! Well, that was a mess, wasn't it? And you handled it magnificently. It happens. We are very important people, are we not? Milady, would you like to dance? With pleasure, my prince. Johans, where's my tie? I can't find it anywhere. Have you looked around your neck? It should be there if it's not on your clothes horse, sir. It, my prince. Come here. Well, someone's up anathem especially early this morning, huh? Here I thought you'd be knackered by all the dancing we did last night at the party. And after that, well. You're dismissed, Shroken. I have this. Go on then. You'll be summoned if you're needed. Very well. If you need me, I'll be somewhere that isn't here. You could have let the man do his job. And I say there's no need for him. I can take care of you just fine, my prince. Just where are you off to this morning anyway?
Business. Where else? Why can't you just work from home? You can afford to, can't you? Business needs a firm hand and a personal touch, Buttercup. Besides, I can't stay cooped up forever in here. I'll go mad. Well, you'll come back home as soon as possible, won't you? It's so awfully lonely here without you, my prince. I could. I don't see why I should, though. This hasn't been a problem before. You know I'll come home when I come home. Just get home as soon as you can. For me, won't you? No promises. It's business after all. I can't just stand up in the middle of the meeting and tell them the wife wants me home. Then forget those peasants! Be good, dear, and stay safe. There's been all sorts of dodgy characters seen about the property. I'll be leaving Johans with you, just in case you need anything, and to be on the safe side, okay? But I don't need a valet. I need you, here with me. I'll be closing a big deal with a pharmaceutical company soon, if things go according to plan. Maybe, after that, I can take a breather for a bit. No maybes. You have to promise me! I'm going to be late, Hana. The longer this takes, the later I'll get home. Fine. Shall I see you out? If that's what you want. Have a good day, my prince. Right. Off I go. If you could let go of my hand, please, Hana. If it fits you, breakfast is ready in the parlor, madam. Leave and go practice your bloody sodomy elsewhere! Peculiar.
hides where it belongs. But a little peek wouldn't hurt, yeah? No, please wait. I'll be good. I'll sleep on time. Don't go home. Way too early for this thing, man.
You're no longer there, Zachary. Here and there, are miles apart. Calm down. Breathe. Isabella, it's late. Hey, Zach. Sorry, I... I know it's weird for me to show up at this hour, but... You are the closest to my office, Sand. No, 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 no. It's perfectly fine. I, I'm not really working on anything right now. Do you want to come in? Is it... is it all right? I know you should be sleeping at this hour, but I thought... I'm sorry, I, I just thought... I have no idea why I went here. My feet just moved on their own after I got out of the office, and... and... Sorry. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. At least you not. Ash just bodges in and crashes on the couch whenever he feels like it. I swear that guy is one fine hairline away from being a criminal. Besides, you already know you can count on me whenever. Do you want to drink or eat anything? 
Now, I haven't restocked my food stash yet, so ingredients may be a bit limited. But I'm sure I can whip something up with what I have here. Just water will do, please. Thanks, Zack. What? No additional food requests? That's new. I'll put something together for you anyway. And hey, feel free to make yourself at home. You ain't exactly a new visitor here. Although my room's not at its most presentable right now. Sorry. Uh, new freelance gigs and such. Didn't have time to fix things up here lately. It's okay. I don't mind. Anyway, um, gigs. <laughs> Can you believe this one client we got? Boss had all my schedules shoot shifted after they caught wind of this couple buying a new property. Man, must be nice to have all the money in the world. The world itself moves for you, huh? You're a guest. Didn't I say you're free to make yourself at home? Here's your water. Careful. What happened? Overtime at work? Yeah. Boss handed me extra work today. After... after what happened. To Rose. Rose? Why do I feel like you've mentioned her before? Sorry, I'm better with remembering faces than names. She's... was... she was my co-worker. That will take some getting used to. I was just talking to her the other day. Was? Did she resign or something? I, I think I'm missing a few details here, Bella. You've never met her. I think I did mention her once, or twice. It doesn't matter. You probably heard her name recently from the news than me. Oh, damn. I, I, I didn't mean to bring that up. No, I... like I said, it'll take some getting used to, but it'll get better. I hope it will. 
Things might become a little busier for me, though. She left a lot of things unfinished, and I'm one of the few people in the office who knows how she works. Boss thinks the transition will be easier if I handle it. Ah, uh, that explains it. Well, just don't forget you still need rest. Even the most hard-working people I know don't keep hours as late as this. Hell, the subway stopped running hours ago. Crime rate might be lower here than most places, but that doesn't mean you can walk around freely in the middle of the night. It's just for today. Still a good thing you drop by here first. I'm not just about to let you walk out here alone, especially not in the middle of the night. Who knows what else could happen? I'm not saying you should go right now, but I could accompany you home if you... N no Wait, please! Bella, this ain't just about your co-worker, is it? What is it really about? I'm all ears. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Please, please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone right now. I can't shake it off. Everywhere, it's... Everywhere's not safe, and... Oh, hide, hide, Isabella. Look at me. Look at me. Breathe. Breathe. You're safe here. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Stay in the present. I'm here. No one's gonna hurt you. Do you wanna talk about it? No more. Please. No more. I don't want... I don't wanna remember anymore. Okay, no more talking. I won't ask any more. Can I get you anything? Another glass of water? I think I have a tub of that pistachio ice cream you love so much. Ah, we're gonna have to clean this mess first. Will you be fine on your own for a little while?
This better be good. Took you long enough, Z-Man. Ashton. It's six. Six in the morning. Sun hasn't even risen. Hell, my brain ain't even awake yet. Stop calling me Z-Man. It's 20 past six, Zach. You want to talk? Give me back my five extra minutes, Ash. I want my sleep. Hey, don't make fun of me. I can be a, a more person, too, if I want to. What's this all really about? You don't usually make calls around this hour. Is the world ending today? Sorry about that. Becca rang me up a few minutes ago looking for Isabella. Said she didn't show up in her own apartment last night. We both tried calling, but her phone seems to be off. Do you have any idea where... <laughs> I should have known you two would come looking for her first thing in the morning. Not a laughing matter, Zach. You can't really let your guard down with everything that's happened here recently. You've heard about the Cooper woman from the news. Everyone in the precinct has been restless ever since the incident the other day. Yeah, I get what you mean. Listen, Ash, about... about Bella. I'm not really sure how to go about this while being... Zach, what about her? Look, you don't have to worry about her. She's with me right now. Since last night, in fact. Oh. Why didn't you just say so earlier? She kind of knocked in the middle of the night. I couldn't possibly wake you two over that. And with how things are when she arrived, I thought it'd be best if I let her rest first. And I just wasn't expecting people would be looking for her before the rooster even crows. You could have at least called her something. Becca's beside herself with worry when she found out. You know how much she frets about the smallest stuff. I know, I know. I'm sorry. That was a lapse on my part. And I just didn't think... Okay, you know what? Rebecca's worries ain't completely baseless. Isabella hasn't been her usual self since the movie. Maybe even before that. I don't know if I should be opening my mouth about this, but... Bella didn't outright say I shouldn't, so... So something's wrong, then? I'm... not quite sure, to be completely honest. I couldn't get the story out of her. Really? I thought you'd learned something from me by now. That's not it. Ash, when she appeared at my doorstep last night, she was shaking, and, and when I tried to ask her about it, she just panicked, had this frightened look on her face. I'd be surprised if this was the first time I've seen it, but it ain't. Dude, the first time, she was screaming. First time? When was this? You weren't talking about the thing in the movie house, are you? Because that was just us fooling around. Granted, I think I went overboard with the joke, but... No, it happened the day after. When she invited us to lunch, you weren't there. We were walking one second, and then the next, she's crying out. I'll be straight with you. That scared me shitless.
Did she say anything else? Nothing. Won't tell me anything aside from a few vague words. I didn't want to push it. Where is she? Is she still sleeping? Right here with me, still sleeping. Should I wake her up or something? Let her know you guys are looking for her? No need. Let her rest. I'll drop by in a few. Today? Don't you have work at this time? I mean, I can drop her off home myself before meeting my client later. <laughs> Look who's talking. My schedule's flexible, Ash. Last time I checked, you're the one who didn't have that luxury. How on earth do you think I'm able to tag along when you need me? It's not completely out of the way. They live on the other side of the town from you, Ash. Your definition of out of the way is a little screwed up, you know. It's fine. I have some things I need to do anyway. I'll call you back. I've got to let Becca know that Scared Cat's fine. Bye. Zack? What time is it? Morning, Bella. Did you sleep well? a little. I don't remember how I ended up on the bed, though. My doing. You didn't look very comfortable sleeping on the couch, all hunched up like that. It would have been enough for something temporary. Sorry I stole your bed. Hey, it doesn't matter. 
Besides, what kind of gentleman would I be if I leave a lady sleeping in such uncomfortable conditions? Not in this house. My nana would give me a tough scolding if I ever did that, I'm telling you. Thanks a lot, Zack. I know I barged in at a very inconvenient time last night. I... I wasn't really thinking when I did, and... Hey, hey, it's cool, Bella. I ain't mad at you. That's what friends do. You guys are welcome here anytime. Although Ashen abuses the anytime part a lot, I don't really mind. We might have less wiggle room if all four of us are present, considering the size of this place. But as long as no one makes anything explode, it's totally fine. Fine or not, I still owe you one for last night's trouble, especially since you don't seem to be... Well, you don't seem to be feeling well. Let me know, okay? I'll make it up to you somehow. <laughs> 